Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully resolve if the procedure entry point not found dynamic link library error is occurring on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up a web browser and you want to search for Visual C++ 2013 redistributable. I know I misspelled it. I was just kind of typing it pretty quick. But you want to go to a Microsoft domain here, Microsoft.com, and you want to go to Visual C++ redistributable packages for Visual Studio 2013. Go ahead and open that up. And select the correct language and then the download button. You want to select the time 64-bit version if you're on Windows 10 64-bit or Windows 11. If you're on Windows 10 32-bit, you would select the Times 86 download. Or if your system has an ARM processor, you would select the ARM option at the top. Go ahead and select the download button to go ahead and download it. And once that's done, go ahead and agree to license terms and conditions and select install. Select yes if you receive the user account control prompt. And it should be from the Microsoft Corporation. So select yes. And it should say set up successful. Once that is done, you want to go ahead and just go and close out of here and open up the search menu. Type in CMD, best match, should say command prompt. Right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now type in SFC space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Once that's done, close out of here and restart your computer. So there you go, guys. Hopefully that was a pretty straightforward process. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.